Hi, this is Michael Jones, Chairman and CEO of Caravel Concepts. Welcome to Market Insights, our weekly commentary on financial markets. Let's get started. We better hurry up before this guy finishes his treat. This week, we're going to focus on two ways that social media and our celebrity-obsessed culture are influencing financial markets and the way people are investing. We're going to talk about Wall Street bets and SPACs, or Special Purpose Acquisition Companies. Let's talk about Wall Street bets first. So, for those of you who haven't been following financial markets, reading the Wall Street Journal, or watching our videos, Wall Street bets is a Reddit forum devoted to investing. And it's most famous for taking on the hedge fund industry and saying, we are going to buy GameStop in massive size. And the forum powerfully got its 9 million followers to start buying GameStop and driving the price higher and higher. And the reason that was taking on the hedge fund industries is a lot of very big, powerful, famous hedge funds had bet that GameStop was going to go down. So when the Wall Street bets crowd got it going up, these hedge funds lost billions and billions of dollars. Now, that feels kind of cool. As we'd said in our earlier video, it feels kind of David against Goliath. And it also, there's a whole culture of irreverence about Wall Street bets that makes it kind of attractive when you think about the stuffy, snobby, look down on us Wall Street crowd. All right, it's got a, a, a logo that bears an uncanny resemblance to our former president if he were to come back as a South Park kid. It has a whole lexicon of, of terms and special vocabulary, and they call themselves apes to sort of emphasize the fact that we are not the sophisticated crowd. We're the crowd that runs in a pack and we stick together. And because we stick together, we win. Now, what could be wrong with that? Well, I'm gonna suggest that there may be something wrong with that when you take that culture and you extend it to some of the other terms they use, like diamond hand and hodl and paper hand. Let's remember that, because we're gonna to come to that, we're gonna come back to that in a minute. All right, what about SPACs or special purpose acquisition companies? All right, these are companies that literally have no business. And you say, well, how can that be a company? Well, these are companies that promise that they're going to get a business real soon. They're gonna go out and buy one and just give them the money. And once they go out and buy a business, it's going to be amazing and awesome and incredibly profitable. And you should get in first, all right? And how do you know it's gonna be amazing and profitable and why should you get in first? Was be, well, because look at who is running these SPACs. Is it famous, successful investors? Well, no. It's um, Peyton Manning. It's Paul Ryan, Sammy Hagar, A-Rod, Shaquille O'Neal. You're like, wait a minute. Th th those aren't famous investors. Those are famous sports stars, musicians, you know, politicians, what do they know about buying companies? Well, that's a really good question, but it hasn't stopped the SPAC industry from raising hundreds of billions of dollars on a blank check with people just betting that these folks who've been incredibly successful in the other parts of their life will somehow now translate that success into buying some companies. All right, now, when you think about how investors are reacting to these two social media phenomena, the social media Reddit Wall Street Bets Forum and the celebrity social media driven SPAC phenomena, should, they, should that really be expected to turn out well? And when we think about that, we should remember that this is not the first time we have seen this movie. If you go back to the 90s and the technology bubble, all right, don't give me any grief about how old I am, but there was not Reddit, but there was a thing called AOL, and it had chat rooms 
completely devoted to the exact same topics that Wall Street Bets is devoted to. And there were amazing success stories that came out of the AOL chat rooms. These incredible, you know, short, you know, there were all kinds of companies that people had lost faith in, like Corel Software, companies that were going to completely change the world, like XOXO and telecommunications. And for a period of time, people made 100%, 500%, 1,000% on these amazing, amazing opportunities. And then they watched it all melt away because very similar to Wall Street bets right now, this notion of diamond hand, that means don't ever sell. I'm a hard diamond hand. I'm not a paper hand. I don't get afraid just because the thing I bought just fell 50%. Uh, HODL, which is H-O-D-L. Some people think they just melt, misspelled hold. No, I think it means hold on for dear life. Don't sell. Well, you know what? If you think about what created all the unhappiness in the AOL chat rooms back in the 90s, it wasn't the fact that the stocks didn't go up. My goodness, did they go up. But then they went right back down and none of these people had a risk management or a stop loss or a sell discipline to lock in those gains. And similarly, back in the 90s, we had SPACs. And they were going to make everybody rich in biotech and technology, just like they're going to make everybody rich in batteries and electric cars now. And yet, the reason why you heard almost nothing about SPACs in the 24, 22, 24 years since the tech bubble was at its height is because most of those investments turned out to be utter disasters. So. I'm going to say, based upon history, that this current obsession with social media driven investing and, and diamond hand, I never sell attitudes, and this current social, the celebrity driven obsession with, I'm gonna give famous people a lot of money to go buy a company for me and I'm gonna hope they do a good job, that did not turn out well 20 odd years ago during the last tech bubble, and I suspect it will not turn out well this time. Thanks for joining us for Market Insights. We hope you found it informative. If you did, please like the video and share it with your friends. You can also find more of our research at our website, caravelconcepts.com, and you can subscribe at the link below. Thanks.